Hi everyone, Eva here. In this video, I'll walk you through how to hang a Pollywood daybed swing. This is a pretty advanced job, so we highly recommend the daybed be installed by a professional. If you're feeling pretty confident in your ability, let's go ahead and dive in. This installation is a two-person job, so I've asked Rory for a helping hand. Before starting, we highly recommend having the following items on hand to make your installation a lot easier. A drill, a 3 16th drill bit, a socket wrench, a pencil, knife for cutting your rope, a measuring tape, a level and a stud finder. First things first, let's make sure we've got a structure that's suitable for hanging our swing. It's really important that your swing is affixed to a fully load bearing two by six or larger ceiling joist. I've already confirmed that the ceiling joists on this porch are an appropriate size for supporting the weight of the swing. If you are unsure, please consult a professional to confirm your structure is suitable to support your daybed. Now, let's make sure we have enough room to hang the swing. You can fasten your daybed to a structure that's up to 16 feet tall. You'll need plenty of room to ensure your swing won't bump into anything when it moves. The golden rule is to have three to four feet of clearance to both the front and back and 12 to 14 inches of open space on either side. Let's get our hanging brackets installed. These are included in your hardware pack. Your four brackets will need to be installed in a rectangle with one bracket holding up each corner of the daybed. We recommend installing the hanging brackets with 78 and 1 4 inch between the sides and 34 inches between the front and back. In the case of this porch, our ceiling joists are running this direction. So we are going to spread the weight across two separate ceiling joists. We'll attach the two brackets for the back of the swing to this joist and the two brackets for the front of the swing to a second joist here. First, decide which ceiling joists you'll use to support the swing and mark them with your pencil so you don't forget. Then. Use your measuring tape to determine the correct locations for your brackets. Drill 3 16th inch pilot holes for all eight 2 and 1 half inch hex lag bolts. Finally, attach all four hanging brackets to your structure by screwing the eight lag bolts into the pre-drilled holes. Now that the brackets are installed, we'll want to prop the swing up under our brackets to make the hanging process easier. I've got these center blocks that are the perfect height for what we need. It's important to remember that the seat height will lower a few inches as the rope and knots stabilize. Once everything has settled, the bottom of the swing will be 10 to 12 inches off the ground. Now that the swing is in place, let's get to work on installing our ropes. Two lengths of rope are included with your swing, one for each side. Each rope should have a knot on one side and a loose end on the other side. Starting on either side, Route the loose end of the first rope through the front bracket. Pull the rope through until the pre-tied knots fits tight against the bracket. Feed the loose end of the rope through the top pre-drilled hole located on the front of the swing's armrest. Then continue through the hole directly below at the bottom of the frame. On the same side toward the back, pull the loose end of the rope up through the bottom hole and then the top hole at the rear of the armrest. Feed the end of the rope through the back hanging bracket. Repeat this process on the other side of your swing with the remaining rope. Now that your ropes are in place, it's time to tie our knots. Ensure your daybed swing is level before tying knots. Tie a simple overhand knot in the loose end of the rope. Pull on the rope to make sure it's tight and will hold to the bracket. Repeat this step on the other side of your swing. Carefully cut off excess rope using a sharp knife or blade. Leave approximately two to three inches of rope past the knot to prevent it from fraying. Remove supports from under the daybed swing and place cushions on the frame. Make sure the daybed is at an appropriate height for your comfort. Now that our daybed is installed, we're gonna check our work. We wanna make sure that everything is safe and secure before we sit on it. Verify the following. Overhead support structure can adequately support the weight of the swing and the individuals using it. Hanging brackets are fully attached to the overhead support structure. Ropes are properly secured not torn or frayed at any point along their length. Knots are fully tightened and the cut ends are heat sealed. There are no obstacles around the daybed swing that could interfere with the swinging motion. Once you have verified all of these steps, your Pollywood daybed is ready to enjoy for years to come. 